about humanity uh, Putting truth in these lines Why they busy feeding lies When you got that tunnel vision Gotta open up your eyes Wake up and go to sleep Man, I'm praying all times And to my guys, ain't no other side This for my brothers, I'ma pray with y'all shine Lock the door Go ahead, lock the door Lock the door Go ahead, lock the door Yeah, you already know Depending on the lessons, some people eat, some people learn, but the game is going to send you a big. That's the money man hook post man back with Mama Boo. Mama Boo, being that you in this role now, you're a mentor to younger girls and women alike. And um, how is that experience been? And how how did what kind of joy and and how did the good evolve in that? It may take me a couple of years to be able to articulate what it is because the girls, I have a new emotion with them. You know what I'm saying? I've never experienced. Well, I don't know if I want to cry or laugh sometimes just by the young eyes looking at me for guidance, asking me questions and to learn about the generational curse that's still going on. Um, to learn about how many women that's out here that really are jealous of their daughters, how many grandmothers that's out here that's really on that bullshit with the kids. It, But to be the person that they, Miss Boo, can I talk to you right now? Or 11 o'clock at night, I get the text of, um, I need to talk to you. You know, to be that person, to be able to simmer them down and actually turn a negative in their mind to a positive or to just empower them, it's an emotion I've never felt before. So it may take me a minute to be able to really articulate. Is it is it difficult when you see that because you recognize these grandmothers and, and women, older women, that's for whatever, it, I don't know why they would be in competition with their daughters. I mean, that's been since the beginning of time. Yeah, so, but when you see it, how, I guess you get, it resonates with you in certain different Very ways. much First, so. It's one of up. the things where I'm able to get them out of that feeling. However, I take it home with me. So it's, one, it's a thing that's like, like piercing to me to be able to understand that it's still going on, even though it went on with me. So how do I speak to this young baby and let her know that it's not you it's them with fake issues and for you to still do you be you and move forward with it so that's like it's i don't know it's like a catch-22 with that do you I'm see kind of in conflict with myself not with them but i'm in conflict with myself to be able to say the right things to them because they're looking to me to be able to explain to them what's going on and make them feel better, which I can do, but I take it home with me to where I'm in conflict with myself. Do you see yourself in these young girls? All day. And, and in hindsight, when you see yourself, uh, does it like give you a better navigation tool to give them direction? Absolutely. And what does that look like today? It looked like just me listening to them and letting the spirit talk through me to them. Okay. Um, that's great, Mama Boo. But right quick, to those who's watching and listening, could you tell them about your program and, and, and where is it at and how they can donate and how they can help you out and help your program be more successful? Absolutely. So my building is actually located Figueroa and 130th. Um, I mentor young girls at risk. Um, I actually feed the community as well, but my main passion and why I live your life was started was based on being to the young girls who I needed to stop them from game banging. I mean, I am who I am, but CEO at the end Mama of the day, Boo. CEO Mama Boo, but at the end of the day, with all the dirt and all and everything that I've done, the biggest thing that I'm going to get is a big ass funeral out of it mm -hmm. at the end of the day. You know, it's not no pension coming around. It's not no retirement. Um, if I do put a post on social media 
for my community to help me, it don't come. So at the end of the day, with everything I did, what did I, the fuck I do it for? For a name, boo-boo? So for me to talk to the girls, to stir them away from that, just based on experience, and not just mine, experience from other women that I know. I know so many women, well, not so many, but I know women that had babies in a penitentiary. How is that affecting their spirit? You know what I'm saying? And some of them have been in there for things that a man did, but they caught that case for that man. Where is the man now? So it's just to stir them from doing certain things that I've seen or that I've done. How do they donate? Uh, my cash app is Live Your Life, L I V E Y O 32. Or they can uh, donate my um, email is Live Your Life 32 at gmail.com. That's awesome. And you're CEO Mama Boo. Absolutely. And you have eight jobs. <laughs> if not more. <laughs> if not more. I appreciate you, Mama Boo. Thanks for uh, sharing that with us. Uh, I appreciate sharing time and space with you. I I see the growth in you since the first time I met you. I know. And I, uh, so. I see uh, that you're very uh, intelligent. I also see that you're a forward thinker. And um, these girls, it's critical that these girls continue to have you. And I hope that people this resonate with somebody and they say hey you know like we got plenty of celebrities out there we got people that got tons of money come invest in mama boo ceo right. live your life right yes live your I life i mean like at the end of the day everything i'm doing thus far is out of my pocket you know what i mean i don't have nobody that's really sponsoring me or no grants that's just dropping like that so everything i'm doing is out of my pocket and i'm cool with it on a level that i am going to make sure that when i meet with my girls everything go as it is sit down talk about the difference between uh self-respect respect what is manipulation generational curse this is the the type of interactions that we have and talk about on an every sunday basis we have lock-ins at my building where the girls stay there from friday to Sunday, you know, so it's a lot of things I actually do that I don't post on social media because I'm not doing it for clickbait. I, I'm doing it for my babies. I want to add this, Mama Boo, and I think this is a critical part. I want you to think about this, and you can probably find a way to implement it. Make sure your girls understand the difference between attention and intention. Mm -hmm. Attention is what young women get when they dress over provocatively. Mm -hmm. um, they look too sexy and then showing too much. Intention is when you dress conservatively and you get a man's intention instead of attention. Because if you get a man's sexual attention, then that's just what it is. But yeah. if you get his intention, he intends to marry. Difference. He pretend to protect. He pretend he intend to provide. He mm -hmm. he intend to be the man you need to be based on because you gave him intention versus attention. So Absolutely. Okay. Those are the foundations of a lot of things that I talk about. I mean, a lot of people know as far as in me, I have a daughter that's in the military. So I think as far as in people- And she's like, special. Can she come sit with you for a moment? She can. Okay. So to think about, you know, where one be like, I want to do this or I want to do that. I mean, I have an example of my raising, you know, so, but- for my baby girls, it's more of just being there for them and for them to understand the difference in every aspect of life. Because, I mean, we can talk about intention. We can talk about they go through other things as well to where it may be an uncle doing something to them. But you got grandma that said, well, you know, baby, something wrong no, with we, him. We you know, it's, like, it's a lot of different ass. things that's going on, that's continuously going on, that these babies are suffering that no one is really talking about. But then I get some of it in our deep little counseling one-on-one -on -one conversations where I'm like in my mind, like, are you fucking serious? It is 2024. How could someone be that ignorant to allow their daughters to go through stuff when it's in public, it's on social media, it's, up, it's everywhere now. You get what I'm saying? So it's just more of me just being to them who I need it. So daughter, introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, my name is Beyonce. This is my mama. I'm in the Navy. I've been in about to be four years. And yeah, I'm how, how, how impressionable has Mama Boo been in your life? showing you the things because she's giving you something she's giving you a lot of solid things and foundation and she basically gave you a map to follow in life that would work for you mm -hmm. how appreciative are you of that i would say i'm very appreciative 
because when it comes down to like what she was talking about where a bunch of these girls don't have the same standing in life that I do. Like when I had basketball games or I had this going on, she was the only person there. I'm somebody where my dad don't do what he's supposed to do. He's not around. So she gave the girls what she was looking for, but she also had me as like her blueprint. Like this is what this is my production. I'm glad you said I'm that doing. like that. So I'm somebody that can help your kids because look at mine. Look where she's at. Look what she's doing. She has examples. She has uh, she has precedent and uh, clearly a Beyonce. I don't know why she come up with that name, but <laughs> Beyonce. Like <laughs> Beyonce, I think you have a beautiful Kendrick spirit and uh, I can see Mama Boo example working in your life because I remember when she first told me that you were going to the high I said, that's great. I wonder how Mama Boo put that together. That's what's in my <laughs> ear. But then as I begin to know Mama Boo, I said, oh, Mama Boo is different. Yeah, because uh, just, hold on real quick, just on the thought is we march. We always talking about what we can't do, what's stopping us from doing what we're doing, but we're not putting our kids in position to make a change. I don't understand that. I know that it's like F the police, F the judges, because they're locking us up, they're letting us die, F the paramedics and all that, but we're not putting our kids in position. We're not grooming our kids to be those people to look out for their people. Mm -hmm. It's more about rap. It's more about mm -hmm. uh, sports. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, her thing since she was nine years old was to be a uh, FBI agent uh, profiler. Right. So my thing awesome. is all the way out of high school, I don't have no money to send you through college. I don't want college to be on your credit, but they changed recently, but I don't have money to do that. So for you to do that, go to the military, let them pay for everything and be who you want to be. Even though she's changed it since then, I'm still rocking with what That's it what is. the military says. Be all you can be, right? I, I think, I don't know. But the thought to it is we're not putting our kids, we're not grooming our kids to be in position. We're so focused on fuck this, fuck that. But at the end of the day, were we going to keep marching? Like, how has that been working for us? If you got seven sons, two of them should be police officers. One of them should be an attorney or something like that. The Hispanic people are doing it. We got to say so in the, in the conversation. We got exactly. people at the table. Exactly. But if we're not at the table, then we're outside on the steps. And how is that helping us? Look at how is that helping us. So instead, instead of saying forget that, put your kids in position for that. Mama Boo, Beyonce, lock the door. <laughs> Cali Miners, baby. baby, baby. Mm. Proof of grind all the time. Music money. Got a dollar sign. Hub City. I'm a street nigga. Streets fuck with me. I'ma keep pushing products to the fans. Get me. It's Guap off top. Diamond Cordier. That nigga wall won't give a pro bitch the time of day. They see me climbing. They see me, they see me shining. They see me. That's hard work. Hard work. Proof of grind. Get out.